Welcome back to Xbox Tavern. My name is Daniel, and today we are reviewing Game Vice's Flex for the iPhone. This is new out all the way from America. It's priced at just under $110. You can import it. Most importantly, make sure you like, follow, and subscribe if you found this video useful. The minute I opened up the Flex, I was super impressed at how small it was. I enjoy the fact that you can open up this controller and you can also use your iPhone in the controller while holding your iPhone's case. So you don't need to take your case off. Super annoying on my uh, backbone that I used to use that you had to take the case on and off. There are little inserts within this box that allows you to have the phone in and without it moving and wiggling as you can see here the different type of case adapters there was a card there where you had to kind of slide across your phone and its case and it would give you the exact um, numbers for the left and right side so it could fit in there nicely here we are now just opening up the flex it's just a quick push of two buttons it pops open and then there you have it in all its glory. The lightning uh, adapter is slightly bigger and raised. So obviously you can do it with your um, case on your phone. And there it is. It slots in pretty simply. Um, as I kind of press and push, there's not much kind of flex within the phone. So it's not going to kind of pull apart the buttons and controller feels um, very good it feels almost as if you're playing if you have like a switch or I mean essentially like a normal controller everything was pretty tight the sponginess to the triggers was just right as well as obviously the sponginess with the buttons were brilliant the um, kind of the dead zones with the control sticks were pretty good I have to say I quite enjoyed the fact that you could move around without this kind of bizarre kind of oh my god I've got to push it all the way up so I my character could finally start moving up um, I've tried this with various games I've played multiple matches of vampire survivors um, which if you haven't played it jump on it on game pass it is a superb game roguelite essentially you're using one stick um, and no buttons the only time you use buttons is when you need to kind of decide what you want um as you saw there with your uh, roguelite-esque powers uh, but getting back to the controller really good i then tried it with fortnite later on and once i jumped into fortnite i found that this was a lot smoother a lot easier in terms of control when um I previous played it with my backbone. Um, it was a lot easier to kind of bring up that aim. It was a lot easier to shoot, move around. Um, and like I said, that, that kind of the ergonomics of the controller really did feel very Switch-esque. Unlike the Switch where they're kind of flat at the back, there is a little kind of raised hump on each side of the handles. Um, that gave it kind of a better feel and a kind of a hold, as I said, with the ergonomics of it. I'm, um, I'm deadly impressed with the controller so far. I also like the fact that uh, as you're pulling it apart, it's quite easy to take out, put your phone down. You kind of put it together in a very nice small little package, clip the back and the, it's all there together and it won't kind of fall apart. I think the only downside is there is no kind of case for it. I've had to source one off eBay, uh, which is a little bit annoying. It'd be nice if they could sell a case that goes with it. Um, these are the little inserts that I'm going to show you in a second that uh, hold your phone in place. In the description below, there is a link for the full review. Please head over to that, as well as making sure you follow all our social media platforms for Xbox Tavern. If you're looking for some cloud gaming games, I have linked a video to the right hand side. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge is definitely worth a watch and a play. Until next time, take care. Bye.